Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now, today's video is gonna be a short one, but I'm just gonna be bringing to you some gossip, some hot off the press action about a future skincare launch. We've been talking quite a bit recently about upcoming launches from The Ordinary, and there's been drip feeds, bits of information here, there, and everywhere. But I want to bring to you today some information that I have that has been confirmed by Desium around a product which is in development and hopefully will be launching by the end of this year. And that is their pomegranate enzyme mask. So a lot of you guys have been speculating around the, what the next product launch is going to be from The Ordinary. We've had the niacinamide powder, which I actually loved, and I've switched up my niacinamide to that one. Um, I did a video on that, which I'll link up there if you want a bit more information. But this is a really interesting development, and one, if it's released by the end of this year, which they've promised, but you know, we've had promises in the past, and they've not always kept time, I think it would be the perfect thing to get your Christmas skin, your New Year skin glow game on. So what this product is, is an enzyme exfoliator which combines 30% pomegranate enzymes with a 3% willow bark extract. Willow bark is what salicylic acid is derived from. So here you get the enzyme exfoliation with an element of in-pore salicylic action to boot, which makes it a beautiful, beautiful product and a dupe for the traditional peeling solution by The Ordinary, which I did a whole video on and I'll link up there if you want to know more about that product. Where I think this differs from the peeling solution and why I think it's quite an exciting and innovative product is a couple of reasons. First of all, enzymes are much gentler than traditional chemical acid exfoliation. Because of the way they work, they nibble away, they break the protein bonds which hold the dead skin cells onto the gorgeous glowing skin beneath. So they're a very effective exfoliator of releasing that gorgeous glowing skin and help you to show off that fabulous skin to the world. They are, however, much more gentle than acids which work at a much lower pH than um, enzymes which function at a much more moderate pH and so they're less aggressive on the skin. They also have anti-inflammatory properties to them. So if you find an acid exfoliation can be a little bit rough on the skin, leaving you red, maybe a bit sensitive, then enzymes are a really good way of getting a similar result, but without some of the sensitivity and inflammation that can come with it. They're also less regulated than acids. And this is where I think it comes down to why I'm quite excited about this product. Because of the strength of acids which are in the peeling solution, it's not available in a number of countries, notably Canada and Australia, because of the regulations in those countries. Because this is enzymes rather than acids, the regulations are slightly different. And so this product, when released, will be available in Canada and Australia because it will mean that they can comply with the regulations that are enforced in those territories. Also, I'm assuming will be available worldwide as well. And so I think it's a really nice option to allow people to get a really robust exfoliation in countries where regulations prohibit the use of something like the peeling solution. In terms of price point, whilst we don't know how much this product's going to cost yet, I imagine it to come in at a similar price point to the peeling solution, around the eight or nine dollar mark, because enzymes aren't significantly more expensive to formulate and incorporate in a product than traditional exfoliating acids are. So I shouldn't expect a huge inflation of the price tag, which is fantastic, because you know with The Ordinary, you're gonna get an affordable product that's gonna deliver really good results in a great formulation. And so I have really high hopes for this. The only drawback I can see from this product is enzymes, whilst I've had really good experiences using them as an exfoliator. They're not quite as well tested as traditional um, exfoliating acids are. There've been some studies that show enzymes, and this was done on papaya enzymes, which is slightly different to the pomegranate, but work in a similar way. That at a concentration of 15%, they had a really good exfoliating um, impact on the skin, not dissimilar to a glycolic acid at a lower percentage. And so with a 30% concentration, but boosted with the set willow bark, the salicylic acid derivative, I actually think this could be a really robust product. However, I do always like to just share with you any scientific background to these products and they're not as well tested as the traditional acidic um, exfoliators that are on the market. So that's something to think about. Now, The Ordinary, as I say, have said this is going to be in time for Christmas. Will it? I hope so, but who knows? It'll definitely be in my Christmas stocking. Well, hopefully it'll be in my Christmas stocking if it is released in time. However, if you are really interested in enzyme exfoliation and kind of want to get on the bandwagon before this product comes out, then don't worry, you can still enjoy it. And I would actually recommend the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Peel. 
That's a whole lot of words, but I love this product. Not only has it got powerful pumpkin enzymes in there, which will do what we've just said um, enzymes do to the skin, but also it has got an alpha hydroxy acid in there. So if you're worried that enzymes aren't quite as robustly tested and therefore you don't know you're getting the real results that you can get from the exfoliating acids, here you've kind of got a combination. It's a low strength al um, alpha hydroxy acid and a good strength um, pumpkin enzyme, which means you're getting a lot of the exfoliation without all of the downtime and the side effects that you can get from an alpha hydroxy hydroxy acid alone or a higher strength alpha hydroxy acid alone. So guys, that would be my recommendation if you want to get on this bandwagon earlier, but let me know what you think. Are you excited for this launch? I certainly am. I love anything that comes from The Ordinary. I think they're a great company, cruelty-free, and they have really great formulations. This is totally different. When the niacinamide powder came out, I was excited, but I also thought we've kind of got niacinamide already. This is something totally different and something I personally am really excited for. What, are you going to rush out and buy this when it comes? I mean, it's going to sell out as soon as it's launched, but are you going to be on that waiting list? Are you going to get your hands on this. Leave me a comment below what your thoughts on enzyme exfoliation are. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Take care guys. Bye.